Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. In this video, I'm going to showcase the two different endings you can get doing the infection Easter egg. So, as you can see, the rocket has already launched here and my teammate goes in to get the little ID tablet thing that you're going to give to Bubby. The first time around, this is literally the first time I ever did the Easter egg, this happened. It will be my Wait. pleasure to Wait. serve you. I think I see our ride. Really? You see it? No. That was never coming, I'm going to replay that in slow motion. Bobby explodes straight away. Now, I don't know if this is a good ending, a bad ending, or just a glitch of some kind, but that is what happened in our first game. We get the drops, obviously, and you're going to see me pick those up in a moment, but Bobby doesn't run around. He doesn't do any sort of breakdancing or anything like that. He says, I'll be happy to serve you, and just dies on the spot. So that's one of the potential endings that you could get doing the infection easter egg, but the much more interesting one, certainly in my opinion, is the next one that I'm going to show you now. So in this second time that I did the easter egg, for some reason the rocket never launched. It's very strange. It ends up not being inside the burger itself, but the rocket launch sequence doesn't initiate at any point. There's no indication that the rocket is actually going to come out of the burger. It just isn't in there. So that was interesting for sure. I go in and get the key card from inside the burger itself. Obviously, you can see the chips and or fries if you're in the US and like red cups or whatever above the burger itself, but no rocket to be seen. So I go grab the key card and then I obviously go downstairs and give it to Bubby and I get the good ending, I guess, or maybe this is the bad ending or maybe this is the non glitched ending. I suppose that's probably what it is. It's pretty damn cool. So Oz says, free to roam once again, my friend, which is obviously in contrast to the quote we heard before between Lilith and Mr. Khan. Now, Bubby doesn't say anything. He doesn't say he's willing to serve or anything like that, but he does stay alive. And boy, does he kick some booty. He's just running around, smashing zombies with his little Burger Town sign. Pretty damn awesome stuff. Now, towards the end of this round, or rather at the end of this round, Burger Town becomes toxic, and so I can't stay here. So I clear out of this area, but it's not the end of the video just yet. So keep watching because you're going to get a chance to see Bubby doing some break dancing. Yes, that's right. He literally does the robot and spins on his head. It's nuts. So I'm going to just explain what is going on here, seeing as I've put it into extremely fast motion. We go back down into the sewers to avoid the toxic gas. And unfortunately, as you can see here, my teammate goes down. Now, it ends up being a bit of a blessing in disguise because I go into the room with the instigator and don't have a lot of time left, but then see an opening which I can use to run through and actually revive him. And when I do so, I see a familiar face. That's right, Bubby comes down into the sewers and helps us out, so I get the revive there with literally a second left, crazy clutch, and it seems like Bubby doesn't talk very much when he's doing his thing, he just runs around and hits for the most part, although sometimes you will hear comments such as... Something smells good, okay, so we keep playing and then Bubby does something that I didn't expect at all. me to take away any hope Lily's got left. I'm not doing that. So we get an interesting little snippet about Oz saying that he's not going to get rid of any hope that Lilith has left about the situation that they're in. And well, I mean, Bubby's breakdancing is pretty damn cool too. So I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. They have been both the endings for the infection Easter egg. Whether one is a glitch and the other isn't, I don't know. But it's cool that we get some comment about the story overall from the characters in the game at the end of it when Bubby does die, regardless of whether it's straight away or not. So yeah, I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Like I've said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Obviously hit the like button. Go on, go ahead and do it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.